Imagine a world where the smallest particles that make up everything we know, behave in strange and unpredictable ways. They move like waves, and sometimes like particles, and their behavior is governed by probabilities not rules. Welcome to the world of quantum mechanics. But there's something even more mind-blowing. Some scientists believe that consciousness itself may play a role in the behavior of these particles. Your thoughts, your consciousness, may have the power to influence the behavior of these tiny particles. Eugene Wigner, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, was one of the first to propose this idea. He suggested that consciousness may be necessary to explain the collapse of the wave function in quantum mechanics. It's a crazy idea, but it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Who knows what we might discover if we can harness the power of our own consciousness to control the behavior of matter itself. Imagine a world where your very consciousness has the power to shape reality itself. This is the incredible world of quantum mechanics. One of the most mind-bending observations in quantum mechanics is the observer effect. It's the idea that the very act of observing a particle can change its behavior. In some experiments, just by watching, scientists have seen particles change their position or momentum in unpredictable ways. But that's not even the craziest part. Some scientists and philosophers believe that observation requires consciousness, and therefore our own consciousness may have a direct effect on the particles we observe. Erwin Schrödinger, one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics believed in this. According to him, the observer effect could be evidence for the role of consciousness in the universe itself. Some say that particles are affected by consciousness in the same way that they are influenced by these physical forces. Others suggest that consciousness has the power to transform a particle from a wave into a particle. But the most intriguing idea comes from the brilliant mind of Roger Penrose, a mathematical physicist and philosopher. He proposes that the human consciousness arises from the mysterious and enigmatic world of quantum mechanics, and that the observer effect may hold the key to this perplexing phenomenon. Could it be that the act of observation is what brings our consciousness into being? The answer may lie at the very heart of the universe itself. One of the most famous experiments that demonstrated the observer effect is the double slit experiment. Imagine a beam of tiny particles hurtling towards a screen with two slits, like warriors charging towards their enemy lines. As they pass through the slits, they create an eerie interference pattern on a detector screen behind the slits, as if they were phasing through each other like ghosts. But what happens when a curious scientist places a detector at one of the slits to observe which path the particles take? Suddenly, the interference pattern disappears, and the particles behave like regular soldiers following a set path, no longer able to phase through each other like ghosts. It's as if the mere act of observation has changed the particles' very nature, like the mysterious power of a sorcerer's spell. This is the observer effect, a phenomenon that has left scientists and philosophers spellbound for decades. Einstein once asked his friend and fellow physicist Niels Bohr whether he believed that the moon only exists when it is being observed. Bohr responded that while Einstein could not prove that the moon exists when nobody is looking at it, he also could not prove that it doesn't exist. This exchange highlights the fact that quantum mechanics presents us with a set of riddles that cannot be easily solved. The idea that the moon only exists when it is being observed is not a literal interpretation of quantum mechanics. Rather, it is a thought experiment used to illustrate the concept of the observer effect. In experiments such as the double slit experiment, the behavior of particles is influenced by the act of observation, meaning that the observer is not a passive observer but an active participant in the experiment. As the ancient texts of the Vedas are studied, an intriguing connection is found between them and the observer effect. The Vedas speak of consciousness as a fundamental aspect of reality, suggesting that the universe is not purely objective but rather shaped by the perceptions and consciousness of the observer. This is reminiscent of the observer effect in quantum mechanics, which suggests that the act of observing a particle can change its behavior. 
Moreover, the Vedas propose that the individual self and the universal consciousness are ultimately one and the same, an idea of oneness that parallels the concept of non-duality in quantum mechanics. Could it be that the secrets of the universe are buried deep within these ancient texts, waiting to be uncovered by those who dare to delve into the mysteries of consciousness and quantum mechanics? Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.